Hey guys, well, if you're concerned about the state of the world, and interested in preparing for the worst while hoping for the best, you need to seriously consider having a 22 caliber survival gun in your kit. So today we're continuing our series on survival guns with one of the most versatile, reliable, and effective tactical survival 22 caliber pistols that I've found, the Walther P22, coming up next on Ultimate Survival Tips. Several years ago, I began a quest for the best tactical survival 22 caliber pistol. And the one that kept entering the conversation was the Walther P22. So about two years ago, I picked one up. Boy, am I glad that I did. A German made, tactically styled pistol introduced in 2002. The P22 not only looks cool, is packed with a pile of fantastic features, but it's full of surprises for the tactically minded survivalist. The P22 is a semi-automatic pistol, chambered for lightweight, affordable, and easy to carry 22 long rifle ammunition, and can deliver 10 plus one rounds downrange from its single stack magazine. Now one of the superpower surprises of the P22 that extends its versatility is that it's designed to take one of two sizes of interchangeable barrels, a 3.42 inch or 87 millimeter standard barrel, and a 5 inch or 127 millimeter target hunting barrel. Each barrel is also pre threaded for a sound suppressor, which is pretty cool. Now, my gun has a black matte finish slide barrel and grip package for a low visual footprint and came set up with a 5 inch target barrel. But shortly after I got this gun, I picked up the shorter 3.42 inch barrel just in case I ever find the need to minimize my P22 size. So here's my P22 with 5 inch barrel compared to my iPhone and Beretta Nano with eight round extended magazine. Next, the P22 comes with low profile three dot sights with the rear adjustable for windage, which is pretty essential for longer shots and practical survival hunting. However, I do wish that it came with sights that were adjustable for elevation also. Below the muzzle, we have a Picatinny rail for a small tactical flashlight or laser. Walther extended the carry and shooting options of this gun with a classic double and single action trigger system that's rarely seen in compact handguns these days. The double action trigger is handy and has around an 11 pound pull. The double action works great for low profile and safer personal carry. The single action increases target and hunting accuracy due to its light four pound trigger pull. Left and right handed shooters will love the extended ambidextrous and easy to operate magazine release, which, when coupled with the automatic slide lock on empty, allows for fast reloading when it really counts. Next, Walther's attention to in weapon safety systems without creating operational obstacles is impeccable and includes two drop safeties that prevent the P22 from discharging around when dropped. Walther expands personal carry safety. It's a low profile, yet easy to manipulate, ambidextrous firing pin block safety. Now let's talk about the grip. Because of the comfortable ergonomic grip platform, the P22 feels great, and remains stable in my hand throughout each firing cycle. The grip is contoured in the front and rear to match the natural shape of my hand and is surfaced with a cross-directional raised handle surface that keeps my grip sure. One of the interesting features of this grip is the interchangeable back strap. With the removal of one pin, you can customize the rear part of the grip with a large or small grip piece. Bullets load easily into the magazine with the help of the tension releasing side assist post. Loaded magazines insert easily and lock firmly in place. The slide serrations provide a good grip surface to enable you to easily chamber around. So today I'm running cheap bulk Remington hollow point ammo through this gun. Now in my experience, a reasonably clean P22 cycles any decent quality ammo without a hitch. My P22 shoots well at 10 meters, especially with my five inch target barrel. And with some practice, the P22 can be an effective survival hunting gun up to 20 or 30 meters. And with the P22's low profile, lightweight, reliability, easy to swap magazines, concealability, and the ability 
Accurately unload 10 defense or hollow point rounds quickly into your intended target. Makes the P-22 an excellent backup personal defense firearm. Now let's take a look at owner comments. A lot of owners seem to love the P-22's lightweight, ease of use and maintenance, compact design, rugged and reliable build, and the fact that it shoots really well for its size. Some with larger hands find the grip a bit small. I found a few comments of some folks who have had some feeding issues with certain types of ammo. I'd also love to see a rear sight upgrade for adjusting elevation. So who's the Walther P22 for? At a fairly reasonable street price, around $399 US at the time of this review, the P22 is a sleek, proven, and tactically styled 22 caliber pistol for those interested in survival, prepping, bugging out, emergency preparedness, or tactical applications, or of having a reliable backup to your primary concealed carry personal defense handgun sounds like a good idea. If you're looking for a great 22 caliber survival hunting handgun, check out the Browning Buckmark Hunter. For a super compact and capable 22 caliber takedown rifle, check out the Henry AR7 or the Ruger 1022 takedown rifles. Or for a fantastic high velocity 22 caliber air gun, check out the Gamo Silent Stalker Whisper. We've just taken a look at the Walther P22 22 caliber pistol. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and the ultimate survival tip show on Carbon TV. Visit our website for more tips, reviews, and to subscribe to our free survival emag. This is David. I hope to see you on the other side. And remember, be prepared because you never know. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, I've queued up two more to the side that I think you'll like. Plus you can subscribe to this channel below and buzz over to our website for a ton of free resources on survival, bushcraft, bugging out and prepping. And for links to the gear shown in this video, see the video description on YouTube. Okay guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.